Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video and please make sure that you subscribe. So today's video is part of a collaboration, collaboration that I'm hosting. Um, the theme of the collab is neons in February. So I just wanted to do something to kind of shake it up for um, the month of February. Everyone's doing Valentine's nails. So I just wanted to do a little something different. Also, I am a firm believer in wearing whatever color you want on your nails whenever you want. So the products I'm using for this video is, I'm going to be doing a fill with dip powder. I'm going to dehydrate my nails using the IBD Dehydrate, and I'm gonna go in with two coats of Young Nails Primer. The um, resins that I'm using is Lifu Base, um, Base, and I'm gonna be using Lifu Activator. The acrylic that I'm using is Model 1's. I picked this acrylic because I thought it would be a good nude for the design that I wanted to do. And then as you're watching the video, you will find out that it didn't turn out the way that I wanted and I ended up completely scrapping um, some parts of the design. But um, just keep watching to see that. Um, so what I'm gonna, what, what I'm doing is, I'm actually doing a fill, I did say that already, with the dip powder. What's on my nails now are my one, two, three, go extra, extra long coffin tips. And obviously I did cut those down. So on the video, I'll actually link it above. I applied these tips with poly gel and those held up pretty well. The only lifting I had was because of my application. So where I didn't completely remove um, the dip powder or um, the dip powder from the cuticle area or the sidewalls before it dried. So this time I'm trying to take a little bit of extra care and remove that. But as far as the poly gel adhering to the tips, um, I haven't had any lifting there. I did etch my nails really good before I did the poly gel, so I didn't have any lifting there. And I haven't had any separation at my nail tips from the one to three go tips and the product that's on top of them. So no separation, no lifting outside of my application not being as good as it should be. And I do have an example of that coming up in this video when I show you some filing of where I know I'm gonna end up getting lifting because my application wasn't good. So make sure that you watch the section I have in this video on filing. So to apply the dip powder, it's pretty simple. You do your thin layer of base coat, you dip the nails in the power powder, let it sit for a second or two. When you pull the nail out of the powder, just tap off the excess. And once that resin or base coat or glue, whatever you wanna call it, once that dries, you wanna make sure that you dust off all of the powder that did not adhere to the glue. If you don't do this, you will have white spots once you add that top coat and once you do your filing, because it leaves little air pockets. So just make sure you lift, you remove all of the excess powder with a brush. I use a brush that's firm, which is fine because I wait until the glue is dried. So I ended up doing three coats of this because I removed a little bit too much of the bulk when um, when I removed the product so that I can do a fill, um, which is fine. Three coats is fine. Um, yeah, usually on fills, and I sh could have saved this and um, saved the footage or whatever, but I didn't. Uh, maybe I will do a fill on camera for you guys soon so you can see what I mean by removing a lot of the bulk off the nail before filling the nails. And so I just go in with three coats and I am trying to keep these layers thin. I am trying to avoid my cuticles and my sidewalls. And I'm trying to remember after each dip to go in with that, that orange wood stick and just clean up the area. 
So I'm going to let you guys watch me um, do my layers and make sure that you watch the filing part because I want to show you where I know I'm going to get lifting where my application wasn't good. And so I'm showing you because maybe it'll help um, you in the future. Also, it should help me as well in the future. So just keep watching and I will be back to chit chat with you when I start filing.
Okay, so I am going in with this Panna cuticle bit and I go in with this, not always first, but it can be first, it doesn't really matter, just to clean up the cuticle and the sidewall area. So this part of the nail is fine, that side of the nail is fine, but once I turn the nail over, you can see I got a little bit there on the sidewall, so that's probably where I'm gonna end up with um, some lifting so the product actually dried on my skin so i'm probably going to end up with lifting there so that's why it's kind of it's really important to go in with that orange wood stick or whatever just to ensure that you remove all the product off your skin before it dries so that you don't get any lifting and right here i am just placing the nail file flat underneath the nail just to make sure that it's even. I'm not that good with my shaping, so I kinda just use that as a template, make sure that um, the, the product application's even, make sure the shape, shaping of the nail is even as well. So I just put the nail on top of the file and just take a look at it. And you wanna make sure that you're looking at your nail from all angles, and you wanna make sure that you run your finger on top of the nail to make sure that it's smooth if it's not smooth then just go in and smooth out the part of the nail that's not smooth you want to look at your apex the structure of the nail I've gotten a lot better with my apexes because my nails used to look like um, I don't know they had a little belly so now um, I'm not doing my apexes as thick as I used to because I used to think it had to be extremely thick and it doesn't. It just needs to like have like a little natural curve in the nail and a little bit more product in that area where the apex should be. So yay, I have made some progress. So here um, I'm still filing the nail and I didn't get all of that product off the sidewall. So I'm gonna go in with the Arbor Band because the cuticle Thing, the cuticle bit I was using is a safety bit, but I want to get all the way as close to that skin as I can. So I'm trying to push that skin back with my other finger just so I can tuck that bit all the way in there. If you're not comfortable with this step, don't do it. Um, you don't want to cut yourself or whatever, but I've been using my um, e-file a little bit more, so I'm a little bit more comfortable with getting um, close to my sidewall. And then I just go in with the file a little bit more and try and get the rest of it off. I didn't completely get everything off, but I was able to clean it up some. But that's probably gonna be a nail where I have a little bit of lifting just because I let the product dry on my skin. So, um, that is how I do the filing of the nail. I did use my McCart 100 180 grit file, and right now I'm using um, a buffer that I got from Yoyogi. So after I get the shaping done and it's pretty smooth, I just wanna buff, buff out some of the scratches on the nail so that when I apply my polish, it applies smooth, but it still has something to stick to. The polishes that I'm using are Beatles gel polishes, and I'm using a couple from a couple of different collections. I did swatch the Neons collection, and I will link that video for you. These two without any color on the tops, those are new polishes, and I will um, actually be doing a Beatles haul video. Um, I think I'll be doing that in the next couple weeks, so I'm gonna put those back in the set and act like I never opened them. And um, I will be doing a Beatles haul video on those polishes. I'm also, um, not speaking of that pointer nail, I'm sorry, the, wait, yeah, the pointer nail and the middle finger nail because I hate how those designs came out. So what I was trying to do was an ombre. I'm still not good at ombre, we're not gonna talk about it. The other nail is I tried to do a marble fade, but I do not like how this dip powder, after I filed it, how it looks. It's not the nude color that I wanted. So I'm still trying to find the perfect nude, 
Um, I did find a really good nude poly gel, and that's the Burano in Nude. Unfortunately, they don't sell that separately, and I'm not going to buy the whole kit again. Um, I am going to order a couple of Young Nails acrylics, um, cover acrylics, in the near future. Because um, I, I like nude nails. I'm more of a... I do like color, but I also like really plain, simple nails as well. So, and I think I lean more towards the simple designs more than these bright designs. It's not that I don't like them, but I just really, really love a nude nail. So anyways, that's why, that was a long way of me saying why I didn't really talk about those two designs. I ended up taking all of this off and starting over because I didn't like the designs at all. And then I did like a couple of the shaping of the nails. So you're gonna see me <laughs> with bare nails in a few minutes, like repainting my nails. And that's not the only time I changed my nails for this video. Um, this is part of a Neons collaboration that I'm doing. And I really wanted to make sure that I had a really good set of nails um, to kind of like kick off. This is my first collab. I want to do monthly collabs. I want to host monthly collabs. And so I think I was being extremely critical of everything, which also is one of my personality traits. So even before the first design, I tried to do pigment powders, which is on my rest there, my little hand rest there. And I didn't like that, so I took that off. And then I painted them, didn't like that, took that off. Painted them again, didn't like that, and ended up with completely different nails. But um, all in all, I put that much pressure on myself because I really wanted this collab to be great. And the people that are in the collab with me, like I wanted us all just to have really, really great videos. I haven't watched their videos yet because I didn't want anything that they said or any of their designs to influence me. So after I upload my video, I'm gonna watch their videos. Um, and also I want you guys to check out, I'm gonna link a playlist in my description box. So everyone's video is in that playlist. Make sure that you guys um, check out the videos, check out some of their other videos. And if you like the content on their channels, which I know you will, um, please subscribe to these ladies. So it was fun doing the collab. Like, no stress, everybody was on board, everybody was on point. So here is my third design that I'm trying to do. It's the second design I'm showing you on camera, but it's my third design. So I'm only gonna show you the accent nails that I did. I'm not gonna show you just me painting regular nails. On this nail, I wanted to do ombre, and it wasn't working out, so I just threw another color in the middle and just did a marble. You girls know I love a marble nail. So I think I've said that in another one of my videos. I hope marbling never goes out of style. So I wasn't like getting those colors to blend. I suck at ombre. You guys don't have to like give me any tips. I've tried them all and it just really comes down to I just probably have to spend like a lot of time practicing, which I haven't done. So I, you guys really don't have to give me any tips on that I've heard them all I just haven't practiced as much as I should have so on this nail I just did a little bit of marbling I should have done two coats of the purple and the pink before I did the marble but um, whatever I'm adding it here it doesn't really matter and then I added a little bit of glitter um, to the marble design and on this nail I really didn't clean up my sidewall that good either please don't make any judgments and yes marbling's easy the thing about marbling is if you're using gel polish it's going to add a little bit of bulk to the nail and you might have to go in with a couple layers of top coat to get that nail smooth again what you can do is one layer of top coat buff out the nail to get it smooth dust it off clean it off all the dust and then add another layer of top coat and that's the same when you're adding glitters to your nail so basically just add that first layer of top coat buff it out, clean it off, and then add um, your final top coat layer and you should get a smoother nail. So here's me just adding some glitters 
and I'm gonna do another marble nail and it's the same um, the same technique I just added the gel polish to the nail just moved it around with a dot dotting tool move that to my sidewalls and my cuticle areas um, again you're gonna add bulk to the nail and you kind of have to add a lot of gel polish to get it to move not a lot but you have to add enough gel polish to get it to cover the nail to get it to move so just be if you know ahead of time you're doing a marble nail you might want to do that nail a little bit thinner than the other nails so this is just another video of me adding um doing the marble design did i say video this is just me doing the marble design on another nail Okay, really quickly, I'm using that brush to move the glitter around to make glitter veins. And I just have a brush with a little bit of acetone on it. I add my top coat once that acetone dries. So here's all the polishes that I used. And yes, I ended up with short nails. So I filed those long nails down. I just, something about it just wasn't working for me. So I did the exact same design on short nails. Um, I know I was a little OCD with this and I ended up using a gold um, a gold glitter polish from Beatles instead of the loose glitters so these are the Beatles colors that I used and I used their top and a base coat so please check out the playlist the collaboration playlist check these girls videos out check out some other on other content check out their Instagrams all of their information will be in their videos as well. Um, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will be announcing another collab for the month of March um, in the next week or so. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And make sure you're also following me on Instagram. It is the same name as this channel. And that is Love by Verdi Nails. Thank you so very much for spending your time with me. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.